What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of whatever the hell this is. I don't know what to call it. I'm just out here shooting videos today. Uh, I'm going to start start showing you guys um, where my family and I go uh, to all kinds of different places to, to hang out and check some nature out, guys. Um, you know, like, like I said, this is one of the things I wanted to start doing with the channel. We go to a lot of different places, but uh, we, we find some really cool spots that we... Uh, go to over and over again throughout the year uh, while it's warm even into the fall and when it starts getting cold uh, So today guys, we're going to show you uh, government island northern virginia So here we go guys. This is a uh, government island northern virginia stafford county This is the parking lot Here when you come in there's all this This crazy nonsense over here power lines all over the place Dead end Right This is all like swampland and turtles and fish and you know this is a big island i'll put a i'll put a uh, a sticker up here kind of show you guys where this is but this is where you park at now we were here i don't know like a month ago and this thing was absolutely packed out there were cars everywhere you couldn't find anywhere to park there were cars all the way down the street but uh now it's kind of opened up a little bit you know restrictions on things are easing up a little bit people can go hiking in certain places so we're going to come out here now and uh and check this uh the trails out and see what's new we haven't been here in quite a while it's a pause point if you want to read this Another pause point if you want to read that. Just some history and general information. I'm trying to hold this still. Right. And this is where we are, this island here. Government island. Yay. I think we should call it anarchy island how about that so when you get here there's a little trail that goes that way that that way is awesome we usually go this way first a little bridge Scared to drop my phone. Oh, I see a baby snapper. Where is it? I can't see my phone. There is a baby snapping turtle right here somewhere. There's a bunch of turtles over here coming. I cannot see my phone screen at all. So I don't know if I'm getting it or not. There's something big right there. And it's not big, it's small. I really wanted to get that snapper on video. Hopefully, hopefully I got it. I can't tell because I can't see. Oh, there's one right there. So yeah, we always kind of come this way first and uh, see all the turtles and stuff. I think you can fish here. I'm not sure. We may have to try soon. 
we have one of these guys at home in a tank. He's wanting some food. Big old bullfrog right there. So this is the trailhead. We came off the bridge there. And this is the trailhead. The pause point. If you want to pause and read this, I'm not going to stay here all day. I'm trying to keep it from being shaky. Here's all your rules and guidelines and all that crap. No relic hunting. Stay on the trails. That is not abided by at all. No tanks, no bazookas, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then here's the start of the trail here. And this goes back and gets into the woods and runs along a river. Or a little, I guess a delta. But, uh... This is the start of the trail here. And I just want to mention here, like we're still at the trailhead by the parking lot. This whole little area right here smells like honeysuckle. I think it's honeysuckle. I believe that's what it is. But it's all over the place, so you can really smell it right here. It's pretty cool. So this is a really nice uh, paved trail for the most part. I got jacks right here in the uh, stroller here. And, uh... It goes on like this for quite a while and then it starts getting on dirt dirt trails. So if you guys are watching this this far, uh, when I when we get back here into this trail, there's a really, really cool part um, back here that was actually a quarry. And it's giant. I mean, it looks like uh, kind of like something you would see in Egypt when they were trying to carve out big stones for the, uh, the pyramids that the aliens built. It's really gnarly. It's really cool. Keep watching. So there's a, a little swimming hole here. Um, there's some, oh, they're moving. There's some girls over here jumping off this log, but they're all in like bikinis and stuff. And I don't want to be the weird guy uh, filming the girls. So I, I'm not filming them. Um, whoops, I don't know what I just did. There's a guy fishing over there. Careful. My daughter's getting ready to jump in there. Careful, wait. So, so I ended up filming these girls anyway. There was a couple of crazy teenage girls and they were jumping off this thing into the water and there are giant alligator gars in that water and um they actually asked me to film them and send them the video of them jumping off that's probably a good uh 20 feet from from the top of the end of that log down into the water alligator gar infested water so that was pretty cool that was fun um i filmed them jumping in there and then sent it to her how to kick it back up <laughs> Allison and Daisy Lynn are stuck on the other side of the river because they went across that log and now they're stuck over there. So this is just after the water hole, that little uh, jump point. The trail keeps going, my son's crying. The trail keeps going, really nice trail, it's awesome. So just past that swimming hole, you can actually see it down there. That's the big tree that them girls were jumping off of. And then you can come down here and get in the river. It's really shallow right here. So this is pretty cool. We take the kids down here and uh, we don't have to worry about them really getting into anything. There is some glass down here. It's We have found a lot of glass down here. Um, it's not terrible. It's not like if you go down by uh, the Rappahannock River or something in Fredericksburg. There's a lot of glass down there. Down here is not too bad. We usually pick it up when we're down here that and trash and we usually come out of here with a whole bag full of crap but uh yeah this is this is an awesome place we love this place come here all the time it's a nice little gem and we know uh if we're kind of hitting a, a brick wall as far as somewhere new to go we'll uh we'll come here one of many 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 places we go to and that uh just goes to show you guys a, a lot of people don't realize just what's in your area you know and and I'm not too, uh, you know, I, I haven't been too big on exploring, but my wife kind of got me into this and we just kind of go find new places on the map that look like it's a lot of trees and, and rocks and lakes and rivers. And we just go. And right here in our immediate area, there's just all kinds of crazy cool stuff to go see. So check out your maps. Check out Google Maps, um, even Google Earth. Chances are you'll find some really cool stuff really close to you. 
So, uh, just like I said, I just picked up all this glass out of the rocks over here. I had my daughter uh, walking this way, and I'm always looking for the glass down here. But just so you know, if I see you throwing bottles like this, anywhere like this, to break them, I will punch you directly in your face and go to jail. Just so you know. So anybody out there that uh, that thinks it's funny to throw glass out here in bottles for a split second of, uh, you know, enjoyment. Look, my daughter could have stepped like on this right here. If I see you doing this, I will go to jail. I will punch you directly in your shit. Hi, doggy. So somebody built some kind of contraption trap thing here. Usually you don't see this kind of stuff here. Um, I have seen people fishing here, so I think it's okay to fish, but uh, I don't know about this. But that was pretty uh, pretty different, and I think it's, it's pointed the wrong way. There's the water's flowing that way. The big end's facing that way, so I don't know. Maybe somebody just left this here. Maybe a kid made this or something. So I just got done telling my daughter to be careful for snakes. And then I look up. And I see one going across the water. This one looks like it's just a brown water snake, but I'm not close enough. It could be a cottonmouth for all I know. Let's see if I can't get over here by it. And it's coming directly at me, and that's awesome. That is, I think it's just a brown water snake. Wonder if I can Steve Irwin this motherfucker. Oh shit, yeah, he already wants to bite me. Nope, bye dude. See ya. He's gone, I am out. Here's our snake friend again. I was looking for him, and there he is. I figured he'd be coming this way. Catfish. I was trying to catch it, but I can't. Okay, so we're leaving this little area. A couple of guys came by in some kayaks. Kind of got stuck in here. I, had to, I was up here on the side, so I had to tell them to go this way in the deep part. And then we saw a, a little tiny, tiny baby red-eared slider going by in the water and I said look dude and he snatched it he picked it up and uh you know he kept going down he let him go though he kept going down the river so that's two little tiny baby turtles we saw and there was that snake down there a catfish I was chasing there's all kinds of stuff here you can see beavers and and all kinds of stuff so we're going to keep going and get to that uh, quarry part so just after that low point in the river uh you get to um this little bridge coming up here and it's pretty cool pretty cool little area I keep trying to film but People keep running behind me and uh, and all that stuff, so I don't want to get them on video or like get ran over. So, we <laughs> got people on the other side of the river. Get them there; they can't see me. We'll film some more when I get up here. So, just to make this point real fast, anybody that has kids or anything, if you look at this stroller, this thing is a tank. Okay, we've we have had this thing rock climbing and over roots and literally in the water. I mean, anywhere I go, I've pushed this thing straight up, up hills, and it, it's a beast. It's got usually runs on two flat tires because it's it's been through so much, so the tires are always flat. But we carry a pump with us. But if anybody wants to do this and you're uh, you're thinking about it, get a stroller like this. Uh, I think it's a Bob, a Bob. Something like that. B.O.B. Tank. So here we go up to the little bridge area. I kind of came across the bridge. But you see a lot of dudes fishing up here. Um, it's just a nice area, especially when the sun's hitting down here and you can see in the water real good. See a lot of guys fishing over there. Never really seen any women fishing here. That's why I say a lot of guys. Uh, the water level 
kind of rises and falls here but when the sun's coming through the trees you can really see in here and uh it's there's a lot of fish in there it's kind of creepy too if i fell in that area over there i'd probably fall right up <laughs> i'd probably bounce right off the water looks like dinosaurs live over there or some shit i would be out so just after that point the whole bridge turns into this boardwalk for a little bit um, a lot of people come here there's people all over the place i don't want to i don't want to be filming everybody but there's some right there um, lots of people coming people dogs people running um, and usually it's not this crowded but since you know the gestapo has been keeping everybody in their houses here lately now everything like this is is pretty busy um, but usually there's not this many people but there are quite a few people so this turns all into like swamp area um, you can see a lot of wildlife and turtles and beavers and stuff off to the side here it's pretty cool it's a beautiful day it's not really hot it's got to be like i don't know 70 right now of course i'm sweating like crazy but uh it's a beautiful day out here great day for this okay so the boardwalk opens up here there's a uh it's a really awesome looking bird right there you can't see it, it's too far away it's too far away but so the boardwalk opens up to this swamp and marsh there it is we came from there I think that's a for hunting or something right here and here uh a little information. I uh, can't really get it all in. I'll take a picture and put this as a sticker. Pause point. Okay, so a little bit farther, this kind of opens up. There's a big uh, deck area. Kids are running around right here like crazy. And then here's another uh, pause point. I'll put a picture of that in there so people can read it if they want and here's another one wow. Daddy, what's this? that's a flux capacitor going yeah here let me see oh. no 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 okay daisy lynn just opened that up so i had to stop because my daughter's trying to get in here where the flux capacitor is that's to save your life right there I'm not too sure exactly what that's for. Uh, I can't really remember. I think it's like a heart jumper. But uh, it's mine. I own it. So after the boardwalk, it opens up. There's a trail here. Really nice, really nice little walk. This is a, there's, there's always some kids running up and down this thing. Oh, my kids are screaming. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty nice. Always see uh, lots of squirrels, lots of snakes, stuff like that. No. <laughs> Just no. Oh, look, see. Okay, here goes a big part of what used to be the quarry. This is why that's there, probably, because that looks pretty unstable. Looks like that piece could fall. That's why that chain's up. But I've totally been over here before. <laughs> Okay, so finally got up to the quarry area, kind of waiting for it to clear out so I could film in here. Here's a pause point. I'll get a picture of that. 
But this is really awesome. I'm gonna have to park my boy right here. If you look at that, that does look like uh, tool marks all in these rocks. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, tool marks. But this thing is huge. There were just a bunch of teenagers up there dangling off this thing. Look at this. It's awesome. And this was all the quarry. Little bench right there. There are um, these freaks <laughs> all over the place. Everywhere. They're everywhere out here. You hear my baby girl calling me? And my son, he's about to fall asleep. <laughs> Really awesome spot. Government Island. So this is a neat little spot here. Um, I forgot what this says. I've read this before. I'll take a picture of that too. You have a freeze point. But there's a carving here. In this rock. RS. Pretty cool. Sweet. Had to put my finger in it. And this is actually, I read somewhere that this is a shelter, or it was the foundation of a shelter. It's in the ground. Pretty cool. It's old stuff here. Civil War stuff. Civil War era. This is called water. Surprisingly, I have never been on these rocks. I think the water is usually too high. It's a bird egg. There's trees like this all over the place. If you've ever been hiking in the area that's used a lot, you probably see this. Carvings all up and down. <coughs> it's pretty seated. Got pretty seated. It's pretty cool to see them get really high as the tree grows. Or maybe somebody jumped up there and carved it. You see here's some beaver action. Beaver uh, chomped that off of there, dragged that tree into the water. It's middle of the dam. Looks like that's pretty old. Alright, so we just came up a hill. Uh, we just came up a hill. I don't know if that caught me. I started talking before I was filming. Just came up a big hill. Now we got some high ground here. Really nice little spot. You can't see a whole lot from here, but if I wasn't filming, I could. It's a cool little bench here. I need that flux capacitor. I should have picked it up and brought it with me. Just past that point, there's another part of the quarry here. It's kind of really overgrown, but you can tell they were carving stone out of here. All right, so this little point, when I come up here, you can look down and see the, uh, the big nice part of the quarry we were just at. It's been a while since I've been here, so. Yeah. My son was trying to climb up this. He's a nut. Then my daughter was climbing over there. It's pretty cool. It's just awesome. I guess I need a GoPro. <laughs> Look at this. <coughs> Sweet. Really cool.
I don't want to fall off the cliff. I am too fat to be falling down that. No thanks. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Found this. Ow, fucker. <clears throat> it's more beaver action. For whatever reason, they gave up on that one. Maybe because it's too big and they couldn't move it. Some people fishing. million dollar house probably as soon as I stop recording I'm going out there on that log I'm doing it all right so my kids my kids mad because we <laughs> made her leave but we're going the other way I just came back to film this a nice little cliff over here a little drop and then some big houses Dude out there fishing. Some really nice docks. My baby girl just made that on the sand castle. And there's a dude down here fishing. Really cool place. And that was, uh, after that point, you go around, you can hit some donkey trails up there on the cliffs next to the water, but <clears throat> it loops you around back to the boardwalk. So it's just a big lap. Um, a lot of times when you're here, you'll see people just running. They'll just, they'll just pass you like a hundred times. Well, they passed me a hundred times. <laughs> But we're about the end of it here. My girl's getting the flux capacitor again. So we're done. We just got back to the parking lot. I ended up picking up a whole bunch of glass chunks. Just booby traps out there in the rocks. You're welcome. Saved some footsies. So we're back in the back in the parking lot now. That was it, guys. That was Government Island. Uh, like I said, we come here a lot. Uh, we take our kids here, see all kinds of nature and deers and beavers and stuff. It's pretty cool. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop some comments. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.